Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So now we're going to create multiple layouts for our application. Now I'm only going to create two, one for the dashboard and one for the main. Now you can decide how many you need for your application and do it accordingly. But we can set multiple layouts in a number of ways. But the way that is convention is normally to put one inside your components folder or the other one that I like to use is I like to create a folder outside and I can call this one layouts. Okay, so inside the components folder, you can create a new folder as well, and you can call this one layouts like that, but I'm not going to do that. I create a folder outside right here called layouts. Okay, so if anyone comes and looks at my application, they can immediately see, all right, this is where my lay layouts are for my application. Okay, just for me, easier to do that. Now, the thing is, if you have Tailwind installed, like I did, all I have to do now for Tailwind to recognize this folder, I have to go to my Tailwind. I have to kind of set it up quickly. All right. So as you can see, it's looking inside my pages folder. So if I do any Tailwind stuff in here, like classes or anything, it recognizes the pages folder. It will recognize the components folder as well. So that's why most people do that in there as well for their layouts. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this one up and I'm just going to change this to layout. Okay, so if I do any Tailwind classes or styling or anything in here, it will be affected by my Tailwind, all right? So otherwise you're going to style and do all your things and Tailwind is not going to recognize it at all, okay? No changes will happen on your screen right here. Okay, so in my Tailwind folder, so after you've done that, just refresh this page, okay? So then you close it off, then go to your layouts folder. Let's create two new files. So the first one, I'm just going to call this one main layout.js, and I'm just going to create another one called dash layout.js. All right, so now I've got two. So this classifies as multiple. All right, so if you guys want to add more, you can. Now, for instance, you've got your main layout, then you want another layout inside your main layout, like for the layout on how your different post is going to be you can do that right here so you can create a new file and you're going to call this one article layout okay so that is quite nice so now i can have my different types of layouts for how i set up my structure right there okay so then you can even include nested layouts so that's why i kind of set it up this way just for you guys to kind of make it easy for you all right, so let's quickly create our components. So the first one, I'm just going to create the main layout in here. So just like that, and we're going to receive children, right? And then we need to obviously render this children. So let's just put it in here. Okay, so children like this. All right, so that's the first one. So the dashboard layout, I'm just going to create that one as well. So also children, so we can have to pass in that. So like this, and then we render that children. All right. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to allow the styling totally up to you. So I'm just going to add some styling quickly to this part right here. But you can style it however you want. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to bring my navigation. All right. So as you can see, I've got my nav right there. So let's just import that. So import nav from Let's go outside this folder, double dot, outside. So then we're going to go to our components. Then inside our components, you'll go to our nav right there. Okay. So that's our nav. So let's render our nav in here. Let's put it in here. So our nav is in here now as well for our layout. And what I want to do at the bottom right here, I want to add my footer in as well. So in my components folder, I'm just going to create a new file and I'm just going to call this one footer. All right, so and I'm going to create a component out of that. And obviously you can style it however you want. For those that want to copy, just pause the video and copy this part right here. Okay, awesome. Now let's go to our main layout and quickly bring in that footer. And as you can see, it brings it in right there. Okay, so now at the bottom right here, I'm just going to add that footer. All right, so this is our main layout all done. Now, I'm not going to do the dashboard for you guys because it's more or less the same, just the same thing, just a different layout. All right, so you can decide however you want to do it. 
All right. Now, the only thing that we have to do in order to work with multiple layouts, we need to set up our FJS file a little bit differently to in order to work with it. All right. So as you can see, this was for the single layout that's persistent throughout the application. I'm just going to delete that. All right. So now in order to make it work, so as you can see, I'm just returning the uh, component, but between parentheses right there, there's a reason for that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a constant. Now, what this will do is it will use the layout that we will define on page level. Okay, so if it's there, use that layout. Okay, so if we don't define it, don't use it. All right, now I'm going to call this constant. I'm just going to call it get layout. All right, so this variable, and I'm going to set that to the component that we receive. Okay, we just want to check if there is a get layout. Okay. And then we, or we just want to set the page and to the page like that. Let me just actually do this. All right. So as it currently is right now, let me just actually add it in here at the bottom. I'm just going to say get layout. As it currently is right now, it's in the next JS documentation. You can kind of see it right there in under multiple layouts you can see this right there so if you want to copy and paste it in here so it's kind of easy to do okay so nothing special right there so if we go to our main layout right now no actually we need to go to our pages folder in our index because we want to make use of our main layout okay so let's go inside our index page the page that we're viewing right here now in order to make use of our layout so let me just delete this now, in order to make use of it all we have to do is we just reference that component. So in this case, it's our home component. So this one right here, I'm referencing. Then I'm just going to say get layout. And I'm going to set that to a function. And then we're just going to call that function get layout. Okay. And then we pass in the page. And then we're just going to put some curly braces and then return our layout. Okay. So let's bring in our main layout, the one that we created. Okay, so as you can see, I'm bringing it in at the top. So if you didn't bring it in, just say import main layout or whatever you want to do from that as well. Okay, so and then we put it like this and then we render the page. Okay, just like that. All right, so as you can see, if I refresh the page, you will see that we got our nav bar right there and we got a footer right there. So obviously add some styling and coloring in there. So let's see if that works. If I update this. Let's just give it some background color. So BG, let's say Indigo as well. All right, so as you can see, it affects it. Awesome stuff. Now, the reason I want to told you about the Tailwind part. So if we go to our Tailwind config file right here, if I comment this part right out, you'll see. Okay, let's go to our main layout quickly. So if I, let's say in the children right here, so let's say we just want to give it a background of red or 500. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't affect the page. But as soon as I add it in here, as you can see, it affects it right there. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that if you do set up your structure like I did right here, just remember to add, if you have Tailwind, just to add it right there. Otherwise, you will not affect the page with Tailwind. Right, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, if this was not clear enough, please let it for me know in the comment section. I can maybe expand it in the next episode for you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Obviously, style it however you want. I'm going to do my own styling in the background so that um, I don't waste your guys' time. So thank you for watching and adios.